Here are three simple tips to unlock ChatGPT Genius Mode. And all you have to do is append each of these items to the end of your prompt, and it's going to be 10x better. By the way, you can use this in ChatGPT, DeepSea, Claude, Gemini, your favorite AI model. It works really well with any of them. If you don't know me, my name is Sabrina Romanov. I'm an AI educator and previously sold an AI company for millions of dollars. In this video, I'm going to share these three one-liners that you can add to the end of your prompt and get significantly better outputs. So go ahead and open your favorite LLM, such as ChatGPT or DeepSeek. And here's the first one. Ask me clarifying questions until you're 95% confident you can complete the task successfully. So I'm going to copy paste this, then go to ChatGPT and type a prompt like you would normally. Let's say create a business plan for a digital product and community. I want to create AI Academy for kids. And then all you have to do, copy and paste that one liner to the end of your prompt. And now what you're going to find is ChatGPT is going to analyze your prompts and then ask you clarifying questions before you proceed. Do your best to answer the questions. You could say, I don't know for the ones you don't really have an answer to. I find this super helpful because just in the process of reading ChatGPT's clarifying questions, it helps me to realize all the things I haven't thought about and should consider. So let's say all ages teaching practical. AI skills, school community for product formats, both content depth, yes, parental involvement, certificates, no, let's not do that. Would you want an existing platform? For that one, I'll say not sure. Number nine, important. 10, subscription, maybe, but not sure. Not sure of the price point. Targeting individual parents. Brand positioning, not sure. Long-term goal is a profitable lifestyle is generating 1 million per year. Okay, so I did my best to answer the questions. Obviously, you can dive into as much detail as you want. You can say not sure for the things you're not sure about. And now ChatGPT is going to produce a much more tailored business plan based on your answers, starting with an executive summary, the business description, founder and vision, a market analysis with competitors. Oh, this is neat. This table is really handy. Differentiators for my vision, organization and operations, so what products and and services that we offer, our marketing and sales strategy, and how we're going to acquire customers, pricing based on benchmarking against similar enrichment programs, and our financial plan and goals. So you can see how much more tailored the answer is just because we appended that one liner to the prompt, which had ChatGPT ask us a couple clarifying questions before it proceeded to answer. And because of that, now the output we get, the business plan that we get, is much more tailored to what we're actually doing. Now let's move on to the second one liner credit to Ethan Mollick for this one. What would a top 0.1% person in this field think? What I'm going to do here is say improve the business plan so that it attracts investors. And then I'm going to paste that one liner. What would a top 0.1 person in this field think? And now ChatGPT is going to walk you through how a top 0.1% investor would evaluate and criticize your business plan and then improves your business plan based on how that top investor would actually think. You can see the changes here. For example, in market opportunity, it's broken down by like TAM, your total addressable market with specific numbers, which is what investors like to see. More of a discussion around moat and defensibility of your business plan. Unit economics, like what's your cost to acquire customers? What are your gross margins. Investors love to see that you have a team that's already successful or has incredible potential. So this is a really handy prompt to get in the minds of a top performer in a specific field. Maybe you're drafting a presentation for a particular audience and you want to get into their mindset. Or in this case, creating a business plan where you want to attract investors. Using this prompt tells ChatGPT to think like a top investor and improve the output accordingly. Now let's move on to the third one-liner. Reframe this in a way that changes how I see the problem. And one of the fun variations is to change changes to challenges how I see the problem. Let's just type in this prompt. Reframe this in a way that challenges how I see the problem. I love this one-liner because it gets ChatGPT to challenge you a little bit instead of always agreeing with you. So here it's rethinking this. Am I actually solving the right problem? Is AI literacy what families need the most? Most parents say they want AI skills for their 
their kids, but their real pain is often anxiety about the future, feeling left behind and not understanding all this AI stuff that is coming along. This is a great one. Like, who are you really building for? The parent, the child, or the family system? Could you design experiences that drive parent-child collaboration or AI adventures that are memorable for both? Parent forums are a commodity. The true moat is if you can build a community that gets smarter and more valuable as it grows due to network effects. Could you build the largest, most insightful database on how families are learning and using AI? So just to recap, we went over three simple tips to unlock ChatGPT genius mode that helps make your outputs 10x better. All you have to do is take each of the one-liners I showed you and add it to the end of your prompt, and you're going to get much better, higher quality, tailored, personalized answers like this. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.